What's up guys? Welcome back to another day of metal casting experiments. Now you remember in a previous project I showed you how to make some green sand for metal casting and I also showed you how to make a special sandbox for metal casting as well. And the purpose of those two videos was to create tools that we could use to cast a metal fidget spinner, which is something I've had hundreds and hundreds of requests for. However, a channel on YouTube called PressTube went ahead and did it first. They did a really good job and got about 7 million views in the first day. So I don't want to redo something that's already been done really well, and I feel like the fidget spinner trend won't really work on this channel. I went ahead and printed out my own templates for a radioactive gear kind of symbol, so we could still have the same fun with sand casting, but for this video, we're casting with copper. Now a couple quick things I wanted to mention. When I made my green sand, I think I made it a little bit too wet. So I've been letting this sit out for a couple of days. I blend it all together and it's a lot finer and a lot drier, but I think it's gonna work even better. These copper ingots here are the ones we made in yesterday's video where we melted down stands of copper pipe to make four different ingots, which are worth about $7.50 each, apparently. So the purpose of today's video is to use our template to create a custom styrofoam gear, pack it in green sand, then remelt our copper ingots so we can create ourselves some kind of a random metal gear, just for fun. So step number one is to cut out our template and glue it to some foam. So here we are guys, I've got my templates attached to some housing insulation, and now to trace out the edges, we're gonna bring back the Styro Slicer. All right, let's cut out the inside. All right guys, our gear is finished. It's cut out of the styrofoam and it's ready to be packed with sand. Now there are two parts of our sandbox, the cope and the drag, and for this I'm just gonna be using the drag. We're gonna flip it over, turn it upside down over top of the baseboard, then we're gonna take our styrofoam gear and we're gonna place it face down right in the center of the board. On second thought, this box is a little bit bigger than we need, so I'm gonna use the smaller one instead. Now if we had a really intricate mold we were trying to copy the pattern of, we would use a sieve and take our green sand and just sprinkle it over top like this. But since we're using styrofoam here that's just gonna be obliterated, it doesn't really matter so much. We can just grab handfuls of our sand and pack it down tight. Ramming tool. Cool. Our sand is packed down tight, so now we can just use this scrap piece of 1x3 to shimmy the top and smooth it all out. Beautiful. The lid goes on like this. You shake out the excess sand, flip it over, and take a look at what we got. And right there is our gear. Awesome. I think we did a pretty good job, guys. Our gear is packed in the sand. It's ready to be cast, so let's take it outside. Our copper's been sitting in the metal foundry for about 20 minutes, so let's open it up and see what we got. Here we go. Ah, beautiful. Liquid copper. Look at that. Yeah. All right, guys, this is where it all happens. Copper looks molten, that's beautiful. All right, let's take that out. Now, as I begin to pour this, it's gonna start shooting flames, just to let you know. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Here we go. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool.
You know what's interesting about that is as I was bringing the crucible over to pour, you could see the styrofoam was already starting to melt just from the radiant heat. And I ended up pouring a little bit more than I wanted to because it was cooling down a little bit too quickly and it wasn't filling the edges, it wasn't flowing in the way I was hoping it would. But that's okay because we can always grind this stuff off and make a nice smooth surface. So we're just gonna give that a few minutes to cool down, then we're gonna quench it in some water, take it out of sand, and see what we got. It's looking pretty solid, let's dig it out. Oh sweet, look at that. Beautiful. Ooh, it's very hot. <laughs> Quenching is in order. And that's what we got. Ooh, it's not perfect, but it's still pretty cool. So check this out guys, my OCD is killing me right now because it didn't form a complete gear. It stopped right here where it looked like the two sides kind of solidified and then joined together. And I think that's because the styrofoam didn't get out of the way as fast as I thought it would. I thought it would just evaporate, but it actually took quite a long time burning off, allowing this uh, molten copper to pour in and cool down as it did. So I'm really tempted right now just to chop this down, remelt it, and cast it all over again. I think I have to do that. Bangerang! Success! Nice. That's why we made two templates. <laughs> all right, we're gonna have to do this fast because we don't have any time to waste. We don't wanna let that copper cool down at all. Here we go, flame's gone out. Copper is liquefied, well, that's looking pretty. There we go, transfer. And of course, this thing is extremely hot. You can see it melt. Look at it melt the styrofoam right there. I'm just gonna use the heat actually to melt the styrofoam right out. And look how it leaves that cavity there. That's cool. All right, here comes the pour. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh, did it just push the sand out? I can't tell. Okay, we're gonna call that good because my thumb's burning. I couldn't tell if the sand moved or not. So I guess we're gonna find out in a bit. All right, let's just let that cool down for about five minutes and see if we got any better results. Fingers crossed, because I don't wanna to have to do that again. You know what was really incredible about that experience was how the styrofoam just melted away under the heat of the crucible. It was actually fantastic. The cavity that it left behind in the sand was absolutely perfect. And my only concern now is as the liquid metal went in there, did it push the sand out of place or did the sand actually have enough integrity to hold its position? We're gonna to have to let this cool down for a few minutes and then we can dig it out and see. As long as we got a clean casting on the bottom, we can sand all that stuff off the top and still make it look pretty decent. Look at how the wood on the sides of the box is charred from the heat of the crucible as well. I mean, that is some pretty intense heat. Dang. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, that side looks decent. It's not perfect. We got another little imperfection right there, but it's looking nice. All right, let's go for the water bath here. Hot stuff. Dang, we almost got a perfect cast on this side. We got a little bit right there and a little bit right there that wasn't joined perfectly. But I think that's as good as it's gonna get for today. You can definitely see the radioactive symbol there. That's cool. Almost looks like some kind of genetic mutation. <laughs> like flesh dripping off. Interesting color. It's heavy. Well, there you have it, guys. That's what we got. It looks like the sand actually did hold its integrity fairly well. The problem that we have is copper cools down so dang fast. So we're getting these imperfections on the bottom where it hits the sand and cools down a little bit too quickly. But I might still be able to make this work. I might take it to the shop and just grind it down and see what we can make of it. So there you have it, guys. That's my first experience with hybrid styrofoam green sand casting. Looks like I still need to sharpen up on these skills a little bit. But hey, it's not bad and it is a lot of fun and we're learning as we go. But the proof of concept is here, guys. We can use green sand to make pretty much any mold that we want and cast any metal that we want. From here on out, it's just practice. Hey, thanks for joining me for this video today. I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Oh, that feels really cool. I might actually make a pretty cool fidget spinner as well. <laughs>